All right, everyone, buckle up, because today we're taking a deep dive into something a little bit different. Definitely different. Yeah, we're diving into the world of, uh, well, fist clenches. Fist clenches, that's right. You heard that right, folks, fist clenches. Not your typical workout routine. Not at all. But, hey, sometimes the most unexpected things can lead to, like, surprising benefits. Absolutely. You never know where you'll find inspiration for a healthier lifestyle. Exactly. And this is where our deep dive begins with a user who's trying to, well, hack their health, let's call it. A health hack. I like it. Using fist clenches. Interesting. So um, they're basically trying to turn their, get this, their addiction to YouTube shorts. Oh, wow. That's a common one these days. Isn't it? Yeah. Into a strength building routine. Okay. I'm intrigued. So how are they connecting fist clenches and YouTube shorts? Well, they're aiming for 10 fist clenches for every YouTube short they watch. 10 fist clenches per short. That's a pretty unique approach. It is. And they've actually done the math. They estimate that watching like 10 shorts a day for a whole year. Wow. Yeah. Would lead to a grand total of, wait for it, 36,500 fist clenches. 36,500. That's a lot of clenching. It is. So the big question is, is this just a quirky idea or could there be some actual health benefits behind all those clenched fists? You know, it's definitely an unconventional approach, and I'm not suggesting anyone cancel their gym membership just yet. Right. But there is something to be said about the potential benefits of grip strength. Okay. Tell me more about that. Well, there's actually been a lot of research in this area. Really? Oh, yeah. Studies have shown that there's a, a connection, like a correlation, between grip strength and overall health. Interesting. So, like, a stronger grip could mean better overall health. Exactly. And it's not just about being able to open jars, although that's a definite plus. Sure. But there's a study published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research, mm -hmm. and they found that increased grip strength was actually correlated with lower blood pressure in older adults. Wow, so maybe there's something to this fist-clenching idea after all. It's certainly food for thought, right? Makes you wonder if those fist clenches could be doing more than just, you know, strengthening your hands. Yeah, it's like a hidden benefit to uh, maybe not so healthy habit. Right. And I think what's really interesting here is that this user has kind of stumbled upon this concept of habit stacking without even realizing it. Habit stacking. What's that? So it's basically this technique where you try to link a new habit that you want to build with an existing habit that you already have. Oh, so like you're using the power of an existing habit to kind of jumpstart a new one. Exactly. And in this case, they're trying to attach those mini workouts, the fist clenches, to their daily YouTube shorts consumption. That's actually pretty clever. So instead of mindlessly scrolling, they're sneaking in a little workout at the same time. Right. And it's also tapping into the power of gamification. Ooh, gamification. I like the sound of that. Right. And gamification is just this really cool way to motivate behavior change. Okay. How so? Well, by framing those fist clenches as part of this like mini game, okay. they're turning a potentially passive activity, watching those shorts, right. into an active one. Okay, I see. And they get this sense of achievement with each fist clench. Like leveling up their health. Exactly. It's a pretty smart way to tap into the brain's reward system. Yeah, like those little dopamine hits. Exactly. I got to admit, though, when I read their description of their experience, you know, talking about increased hand warmth and uh, energy balls yeah. and glowing energy, I was a little, I don't know, skeptical. Yeah, I can see why it is a pretty colorful description. It is. It's a lot of imagery going on there. But, you know, it does speak to the power of the mind-body connection and, you know, the placebo effect. The placebo effect. So, like, if you believe something is beneficial, you might actually experience physical sensations that reinforce that belief. Exactly. And, I mean, who are we to say that those sensations aren't real, right? If it's working for them, that's great. Yeah. But of course, there's also the physiological aspect to consider because hand exercises, they do increase blood flow. Right. Which could totally explain the feeling of warmth that they're describing. So it could be a combination of both the mental and the physical. Absolutely. I think it's likely a bit of both. I mean, it makes you wonder, could this this unconventional approach, could it actually be a key to building like sustainable, healthy habits? It's an interesting question, right? Because... A lot of people struggle with sticking to a workout routine. Yeah, for sure. And I think this user's experience, while anecdotal, it does offer some valuable insight. Okay, I'm listening. Maybe the key to lasting change is not about forcing ourselves to do things we hate, but about finding those creative, enjoyable ways to incorporate movement into our lives. I like that. So instead of viewing exercise as a chore, mm. we can look for those little opportunities to just 
infuse activity into our daily routines. Exactly. And that could be anything, you know? Yeah. It doesn't have to be a big formal workout. Like 10 fist clenches during your favorite TV show. There you go, see? Or a quick stretch while you're waiting for your coffee to brew. Perfect example. Or even a dance break between work tasks. Love it. See, you're getting it. Yeah, it seems like finding those small, enjoyable ways to just move our bodies more, that could be a surprisingly effective path to a healthier lifestyle. I couldn't agree more. I think that's a fantastic takeaway for everyone. Well, there you have it, folks. Another deep dive completed. Another one for the books. From YouTube shorts to fist clenches. Who knew? You never know what we'll uncover next. Tune in next time for another deep dive into the weird and wonderful world of the internet. Until then, keep those fists clenching. Maybe. Maybe. And keep exploring those creative ways to move your body and stay healthy. And most importantly, have fun doing it. Absolutely. See you next time. See you then.